दोस्तों अक्सर कहा जाता है कि वन डे स्पेंड विद अ ग्रेट टीचर इज बेटर देन स्पेंडिंग अ थाउजेंड डेज अमंग बुक्स एंड सेल्फ स्टडी एंड ऑल दैट नाउ मैं आई एम अ लवर ऑफ बुक्स आवर गेस्ट टुडे इज अ लवर ऑफ बुक्स एज यू कैन सी बिहाइंड बट आई एम ऑल्सो ऑलवेज इन द सर्च ऑफ पीपल दैट आई कैन लुक अप टू हु कैन बी रोल मॉडल्स जो जिनको देखकर मुझे भी ऊर्जा मिलती है और देखकर मन में एक इच्छा होती है और मुझे भी इनकी छवि का कोई पार्ट अपनी पर्सनैलिटी में लेकर आना है मुझे भी इनके जैसा बनना है अवर वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट टूडे इज नन अदर दैन डॉक्टर हिमांशु राय हु इज द डायरेक्टर ऑफ आई एम इंदौर प्रायर टू दिस इससे पहले ये आई एम लखनऊ में प्रोफेसर थे 2006 से 2014 तक और उसी दौरान मेरी इनके साथ मुलाकात हुई जहां मैंने फर्स्ट अपना एग्जीक्यूटिव एजुकेशन प्रोग्राम अटेंड किया एंड आई वाज आई हैड सच अ वंडरफुल टाइम ड्यूरिंग दैट प्रोग्राम दैट आई केम बैक अगेन फॉर टू मोर कोर्सेज एक लॉन्गर ड्यूरेशन फॉर्मेट का था विच वॉज द जर्नल मैनेजमेंट प्रोग्राम जो लखनऊ में हुआ फर्स्ट प्रोग्राम आपसे जहां सर मुलाकात हुई वो आई एम नोएडा कैंपस पे था and many other wonderful people that i met there including yourself dr achna shrivastava professor srini professor raina and others and um uh, dr himanshu rai has also spent time as the dean of micb bakoni and also in milan italy from 2014 to 16 and as a convener of the cat examination in 2010 so you successfully led the largest format um change in the world's testing history exceeding all global standards you obtained your doctorate from the im ahmedabad and uh, your speciality is in the field of conflict uh, resolution and negotiation i still remember our game theory lessons that you taught us very exciting very engaging um i still remember all that and as many viewers will be interested um teaching co or management teaching ko apna full time uh, career banane se pehle you were with a steel india and you spent eight long years so first of all i like to welcome you i have always looked up to you you've been a source of inspiration let me also tell the viewers that um dr rai has a very firm grasp on yoga and spirituality or bharti sanskriti ke upar or vedas ke upar and um, you've always been a source of inspiration thank you this is a wonderful opportunity jo um pehla sawal mere man mein apne viewers ke liye dr rai aata hai wo ye hai ki ek life um, career transition aapki badi major rahi Uh, from tata steel and having spent 8 years in the corporate world with one of india's finest um, corporate institutions and i still remember apne class mein ek bar share kiya tha ki shayad ab trekking ke liye gaye the or that was the time you self reflected you got uh, time to spend in nature and you came back and there was like some massive change you you took some uh, really big decisions aur wahan se aapki journey mein jo career track mein trajectory mein kafi major changes aaye तो थोड़ा उसके बारे में बताएं व्हाट प्रॉम्प्टेड इट ये ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन कैसी थी और क्या मेजर टेक अवे आए सो थैंक यू वंस अगेन सिमरजीत फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी हियर इट्स सच अ प्लेजर टू बी हियर एंड ऑल दोस जेनरस वर्ड्स इतना ज्यादा जेनरोसिटी तुमने दिखाई है अपने शब्दों के द्वारा आई जस्ट होप दैट आई डिजर्व एटलीस्ट सम ऑफ देम नाउ कमिंग टू दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन यू देर आर मल्टीपल रीजन Tata Steel is a great company to work with. So I was having a whale of a time while I was working with Tata Steel. So apart from making steel, uh, I happened to be an electrical engineer from KRC Surat Kal, and I joined Tata Steel immediately as a GT. So I was having a great time. Apart from making steel, I was into quizzing. I used to conduct antakshris. Though I'm not a good singer, I used to do choreographies. I used to do a lot of uh, dramatics uh, and a whole lot of other stuff. but despite that i i did feel intellectually a little stifled and i think that's a problem with most of the small cities have because you end up meeting the same people everywhere you meet the same people in the in the office when you go to the club after the office you meet the same people even when you have a social do you end up meeting the same people and many a times you end up having the same conversations so there was a little bit of my intellectual bone which was and that intellectual appetite which was not getting satisfied and then as you mentioned uh, i think i've told you that story before i was in the himalayas and that is again something uh, thanks to tara steel so tara steel was the one who introduced me to the himalayas and to my mountaineer in guru bachendri pal oh, so wow. bachendri pal the first indian woman to climb everest unhone mujhe ko parvatarohan sikhaya hai and i still remember i was sitting on the top of a himalayan mountain and reading a book and most people think of it as a children's book but to me it's a deeply philosophical book that book was alice in wonderland 
और एलिस इन वंडरलैंड को पढ़ते पढ़ते एक पर्टिकुलर पैसेज आया उसमें जी जी दैट पैसेज स्टार्टेड टू मेक मी थिंक इट इट मेड मी इंट्रोस्पेक्ट एंड आई स्टिल रिमेंबर इट वाज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज़ आई रीड दैट पैसेज एंड व्हेन आई क्लोज दैट द पर्सन हु हैड गिटेड मी दैट बुक ऑन द लास्ट पेज ऑफ द बुक हैड रिटन चरय वैति चरय वैति which was something that came from swami vivekanand and both these things the particular passage that i read and that message that i read got me thinking got me reflecting and i there was a moment of epiphany right you know, just like buddha of course i didn't have a bodhi tree to sit under but there was a moment <laughs> you had a mountain I, you had a mountain. <laughs> I was in the mountain i was in the mountain and i was in the himalayas particularly i'm mean, not any other mountain so in that moment of epiphany i figured out the purpose of my life and what i realized was that what i wanted to do with my life was to help everyone else realize their true potential and the moment i realized that the second thing that i realized that was that i will not be able to come close to my purpose while working in the industry because i need to influence and impact a lot of people and that too in their younger days and hence teaching to me came as a solution which presented itself with the possibilities of uh, impacting people of helping the youngsters uh, reach their potential it was then i decided to become a teacher i got down i went to jamshedpur i started to find out where could i possibly do my phd from what does it take to become a teacher so on and so forth the rest is history of course that i shifted to academia after doing my phd from iim ahmedabad which is which is fantastic i think uh, it brings couple of things to my mind uh, first of all is that um, it's not a coincidence that i ended up in the mdb program at i am lucknow and i've always believed that the seekers because i consider myself as a seeker always seeking answers to end up in your class to en- end up with people like dr archma shrivastava and yourself at a time at a critical time where i just started off it was like 3 or 4 years i had started off as a professional speaker also having gone through a major career change i needed that sort of um, you know that support that sort of mentorship and that to be in that sort of stimulating environment so i don't consider it as a coincidence that i happened to be there i think it was yes. divine orchestration ji yes. ji and uh, so glad that you decided to make that shift into teaching otherwise hum itni bade ek opportunity miss kar dete to to have uh, you know uh, to learn from someone of your caliber your potential and your radiance that you emit the positive vibes that you give i still remember the whole um, you set the entire that thing the classroom on fire after your lecture we were all really fired up and although case studies have their place videos have their place all the other methods we use you know but however somebody in flesh and blood who sort of living the message it leaves a great great impact on you so you certainly have left a impact on me um, dr rai and may i ask what the passage was from alice in wonderland is it the conversation between the sheshak cat and alice if i agree yes 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 <laughs> absolutely so so this is the passage when uh, alice has come into the rabbit hole she's fallen out on the other side of the rabbit hole and she reaches she has reached this different world and she's walking when she reaches crossroads so bhinna bhinna dishaon mein sarke ja rahi hai and alice is confused which road to go on Jeez. and fortunately she 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 sees a cat coming from the other direction as as you pointed out that was a cheshire cat so alice asked the cheshire cat cheshire cat where do i go which road do i take main kahan jaau kis sadak pe jaau and the cat says that depends a good deal on where you wish to reach ye to is baat pe nirbhar karta hai ki tum pahunchna kahan chahti ho alice says i don't much care मुझे कोई खास फर्क नहीं पड़ता कि कहां पहुंचू दिसमें and the message to me was that look if you work hard in your life you will reach somewhere kuch na kuch to ban hi jaoge of course lekin tum kya wo banna chahte the aur jis din us prashn ka uttar na me aaya us din jo kuch bhi aapne arjit kiya hoga us din tak wo sab vyarth ho jayega kya baat hai kya baat and that is why you must figure out that you are moving with a sense of purpose ek uddeshya ke sath hum hamesha jeevan ka nirvah kare बहुत खूबसूरती से आपने आई दिस वाज अ गूस बम मोमेंट फॉर मी कि वो उस कितना कुछ वेस्ट हो जाता है जस्ट बिकॉज पीपल डोंट डेवलप दिस करेज टू मेक दोस रेडिकल चेंजेस आई पर्सनली फील कि कई बार ऐसे होता है कि हम मीडियोकर लाइफ को एक्सेप्ट कर लेते हैं जस्ट बिकॉज हमें चेंज से डर लगता है 
you know, we don't take that chance. And um, then we realize, in fact, there was a book that I was reading, The Five Regrets of Dying People. A nurse thi, Australia mein jinnone book likhi. And number one thi, I wish I had the courage to lead a life true to myself. And which is so sad that people on their deathbed, they realize that I had to do something else. So, I, I, you know, thank you for sharing that story. With me.